Hello everyone. Welcome back to my office. Um, today we're going to be ranking treasures in my treasure chest. And by treasures I do mean stuff that I found on the ground. So this box is decorated, I think I made this like in high school, so like 15 years ago. And it's got mostly pictures that I cut out of um, Nintendo Power magazines when that existed because I felt like it. Um, I started collecting treasures off the ground in college. This was one of the first ones. He's a little monkey. I'm not sure what he's from, probably an accessory to some other toy, no idea, um, but he's in, I mean, that's really good condition, so I would, I would value that one. I'm going to deduct points because I feel that it is not uh, mysterious, and I would say that it is, um, lights just went off, great, I would say it's not very likely to be like a cursed object. Um, but I'm going to give that one a solid 7. I think it looks pretty good. So here I've got one that I found in, I believe, a Walgreens parking lot. Great place for treasures. That's a star charm. It says WW. I believe this is a Weight Watchers charm. Um, again, very good condition on that. Yeah, not too many scuffs or scratches. And it does give me a jolly for some reason that it's from Weight Watchers. Never been to Weight Watchers, never participated in that, so um, I'm going to give that a 7.25. So here I've got a, a lower tier item. Um, this is a little tag. It says, attention, UMAC excess flow valve. Um, it seems like it should have been attached to something important. I think I found it in the street. I, I, I just took it. I don't know, man. Uh, but, you know, it's not. It's a little bent. It's, uh, it doesn't, not particularly mysterious. But, you know, it does make me wonder what is, what, what is that? Where did it come from? I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a, three. So we're back on another, we're on a little bit higher tier object here. We've got a toy kangaroo. Um, now this one is in decent shape, but you'll see we've got some chipping on the paint. Looks like it's been, I mean, I don't remember where I got this one, but I wager based on that paint chippage, this was maybe a parking lot. Uh, could have, could have been out on a hike in a park, something like that. Um, I mean, no, parts aren't broken. Um, it is a little bit more of a generic toy, which makes it a little, little. It's, it's not as corporate, I guess. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I mean, I would give that a little bit higher marks than you know, like a like a Barbie piece or something like that. It's also, like I said, no, no piece is broken. So I would. Paint, paint chip is just gonna take some points off this. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a strong six. Just a six. See now, in contrast to that, here we have a Hello Kitty, which is you know obviously recognizable. Um, this one not only has some paint chippage, but we've got some some slight structural damage there to the hand and the you know. I wonder where I found this. Looks like it could have been could have been run over. I don't even I don't even remember picking that up. That's a that's a 3.4. No, I'm not apologizing for that. That's just a 3.4. We're still on the subject of toys. I do have this hex bug. He's been pretty badly damaged. A lot of a lot of battle damage. Maybe there was another hex bug involved. We don't know. Could have been a could have been an AC car. Could have been a is that AC? AC, DC? The remote control car could have been. Could have been a, a small bike. Uh, could have been, uh, I'm going to say the damage probably a little too extensive for that to have been like a seagull. Definitely wasn't a beetle. 
Although he could have been jealous of the robot beetle, could have been threatened. I don't know. Could have been a whole horde of them. But you know, uh, speculation aside, this is pretty, pretty badly banged up here. Um, it is a larger piece that's going to be a little rarer. So I'm still going to put this at around a three. But you know that that is pretty extensively. Uh, what are you going to do? That's that's three. Now here's here's kind of a special case special category so I would no longer consider these a treasure um, this is what I call the shards category we've just got things like some broken glass uh, some rocks I have no idea why uh, I, I no longer remember why I just have rocks here they're not even like a fossil or a, you know something like that but but I have them so here we are because um, you know times have been tough you know, sometimes there's the pickings are slim, and you just gotta you gotta get your hit of taking taking stuff off the ground, right? So, so sometimes you know this is where this is what it comes to. So this is more of a historical collection of how the treasure hunting used to be in the past. But I would no longer consider these a full blown treasure. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and have a look at a few of these, um, just just. You know, for, for the historical preservation aspect, um, you know, we've got this rock right there, brown rock, I think. You know, got a, got a shape to it, of course, as most things do. Uh, we got another one, S similar, not the same. Um, that one's extra, a little smoother, consistency. So, you know, have that. Uh, you know, this one is probably one of the better ones in there because you know, it's got sparkle to it. I would wager that's definitely a probably a man-made. Got I don't know what that's from. Could be construction. Could be I. I don't know. You know, if I knew, I could tell you, but I don't. So there you go. Um, uh, as far as the glass pieces go. You know, this one does have a little round kind of chip in it there. And that would increase the value because we've got something a little unique going on with with that. But it's still, I mean, this these are, are more of a special mention. They're not even, I don't even call it a treasure. Now these though, see that's the bottom of a bottle and you've got just a hint of some lettering, some patterning right there. So I would, uh, I mean, that's, one of the better pieces if you if you do have shard collection and I, I wouldn't because these are sharp where they, they can be so I wouldn't encourage that that's just more of an honorable mention slash um, you know the history of treasures here's another piece that I feel would elicit some debate um, it is a little metal figure looks like a uh, warrior of some kind he's got a shield uh, uh, helmet you know I don't know what this is could could have been from a game could have been no idea um, his legs are broken off and the reason this is debatable on treasure is that I don't remember where I got this um, so it could have been given to me it could have been in a bag of random stuff that I purchased. I have no idea. And because of that, I cannot qualify it 100% as a treasure because one of the most important, important facets of treasures is that they were found. You know, they couldn't have been given or acquired for a monetary purchase or anything like that. So, um... Unfortunately, I, I will not be rating this one officially, um, but I will say that if if I were to rate it, because it's a metal object, it is it has that air of mystery to it, right? Um, I, I mean, I would bump this one up probably to an 8. Uh, but again, that's, that's not going to be an official rating just because of, you know, the, the protocols of this. So we'll say that's a, that's an eight, theoretically or hypothetically. And we're just gonna quickly go over a couple more of these. Uh, this is a baseball ring. Um, it's in decent shape, ah, but I, I mean, it's a 
baseball, so yeah, we'll give it we'll give it a six. We got this ring, which I found on a bathroom counter, um, in at like some I think it was like a sporting event or something. I was dragged to. Uh, it's it, this one is actually in very good shape. You can see we got it's like plastic. It's got rhinestones down in it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one like a. I mean, it's it's not really weird, but it is. It's great shape. We're gonna we're gonna give that an uh, 8.3. Why not? Um, here we have just a plastic, you know, four. I guess I'll give it a four. Um, and then here we have this little metal rhinestone H. I believe most of the little rhinestones, if not all of them, uh, are still in there. Yeah, you know, it's a little scalped, a little bit like that. But you know, it's a it's, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna give that one a. 8.6 all right I think I think we're gonna be done with that for now uh, this is not all the treasure that I have even in this box but uh, I don't want to I don't want to keep rating it so uh, I think we're gonna be done thank you guys for checking out this treasure with me hope you enjoyed the ratings um, if you want me to rate more treasure or other things like that in the future just let me know if you disagree with my ratings of course let me know those are official ratings so i i will not be changing those ratings however um i would like to hear your ratings uh if you have any trash i mean or treasures that you would like me to rate you just go ahead and let me know um i would be happy to give an official rating to stuff that you found on the ground so um thank you guys hope you have a really nice day have a good one